Do you know what it takes to win? Whether it's a sporting team, an army, or a family, it's very simple. It's your reserves. When you put the first team in on a basketball team, or whether you put it in on a football team, they play and they play and they play, but you know how they really evaluate the capacity of a team to go all the way? It's by their bench. What have they got sitting there to back up the front guys if somebody gets hurt or whatever? The reserves. The reserves are what are important. Let's talk about the greatest military fighting machine in the history of mankind. It was the Roman army. They weren't technological. They just cut, peeled, and sliced. But very simply, the Roman army did what they could do because of their reserves. They learned a very interesting thing. The human being in peak physical condition can actually go all out for about 12 minutes. So they set their army up in three ranks. They had the front rank, the second rank, and the third rank, and they timed it. They had a bugler that would notify the troops when to move forward and when to move backwards. They didn't have radios, so they, they, they had sound over the sound of the battle. The trumpeter would notify. The centurion would stand back there, and he'd tell the trumpeter, he'd watch the time, and he'd let them get in there, and the front row would get in there and cut, peel, and slice for 12 minutes. Then they would back up to the back. They would become the third rank, and the second rank would come up, and they'd cut, peel, and slice for 12 minutes. And then the third group would come up, their reserves would come up, and they would cut, peel, and slice, and they would wear every army down. That's the way they won. They used their reserves. Food is the most important reserve any family can have. Families that are in a situation where financially they're really strapped. When they get counseling, they're told to put in a two-week supply of food and then pay the rest of their bills. And if they have that food in there, they've got the security and the stability. If a family can put in the reserve of food, then they can deal with all sorts of stress. Do you realize that when a family's under real severe stressful conditions, you know, every once in a while I run into somebody that says, well, if I'm hungry enough, I can eat anything. I'm going to go out and pop a deer on the head with a rock or whatever it takes. That's not true. When you're under stress, you need the most nutrition. You need better food than you are than when you're under normal circumstances. Do you realize that in our times, we've gotten away from the old pioneer habit, habit of having the reserve set back, the supply of food that no matter what happens, they can always feed their family. Do you realize in our modern times, with everything that we know and all the technology, the family, the family, the American family, is the only fighting machine that is trying to do it without a reserve? That's it. We have the capability of winning every battle if we can sustain ourselves independently and fearlessly with food.